Harvard A name that brings to mind the words knowledge, excellence, and world renowned, justifiably so. For it has, since its foundation in 1636, remained the lighthouse of higher learning in the United States, and one of the most prestigious universities around the whole globe. And it's only fair to note here that it has always kept its promise of excellence, for it has been able to contribute to the paths of many recognizable and impactful human beings, many of whom have been closely associated with many areas of American intellectual and political development. By the end of the first decade of the 21st century, Harvard had educated seven U.S. presidents like Franklin D. Roosevelt, John F. Kennedy, and Barack Obama, a number of justices, cabinet officers, and congressional leaders, as well as many renowned literary figures. It also has more alumni, faculty, and researchers who have won Nobel Prizes and Fields Medals than any other university in the world. Now, of course, with its alumni of leaders, a handful of the world's best scholars, and doors open for generations of passionate individuals, Harvard, at some point or the other, leaves many of us with the question, how do we get there? Or at least with the desire to know a little more about this four centuries old, world-renowned hub of knowledge. Either way, this video has you covered providing you with everything you really do need to know about Harvard beyond its tight association with Harry Potter's Hogwarts that makes up the mental image most of us share about it. So stick to the end for not just the quick facts and a look at the most interesting parts of their campuses, but also for more in-depth insight on their courses, their striking acceptance rate, their holistic evaluation procedure, and some more. If you don't want to miss out weekly videos on technology and innovation, then simply subscribe to our channel so we can provide you more high-quality content in the future. Now, first things first, with its three main campuses across Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard currently hosts almost 24,000 students, supporting their pursuits of sciences and humanities, their passion for research, and their growing visions for a better world. Classes in Harvard began in the summer of 1638 in a single-frame house and a college yard. Ever since, the university has continued to expand over the centuries to have now reached the size of over 4,000 football fields altogether. Harvard's most popular majors lie within the fields of biological and physical sciences, social sciences, history, and math. But these are by no means the only strong academic options. The university is home to exceptional programs and scholars in many disciplines, and even if you can't study with a star professor directly, their influence helps make the academic offerings at Harvard truly world-class. Sounds great! And all a person needs is probably exceptionally high grades to get accepted, isn't that so? Well, it definitely counts, but getting accepted at Harvard probably requires more than just the right numbers. Harvard's holistic evaluation procedure aims at students who show great potential. Qualities like innovativeness, dedication, and curiosity are important. But most of all, you'll need to stand out from the large and quite competitive pool of highly accomplished applicants. The key here is to focus on what really makes you special through the application process that you can find on their website, highlighting the unique contribution you'll add to this eccentric campus community. Harvard very much values leadership and community engagement in applicants. For example, preferring individuals who were impactful on and involved with their communities and are able to demonstrate this. Besides, the university places a lot of emphasis on intellect, especially in the fields of humanities and social sciences. This can be reflected through a student's engagement in their passions through research, fieldwork, and other extracurricular involvement. Here, it is vital, of course, to take into consideration Harvard's acceptance rate too. Harvard's overall acceptance rate is 4.6% making it the second most selective college in the U.S. after Stanford, which explains why it is such a celebrated accomplishment for those who get enrolled, but also makes it quite understandable from the very beginning that there's a much bigger chance of not being accepted. As with all highly competitive colleges, however, there's always some element of chance at play in who is accepted and who is not. Thus, it is only fair to say that it is mostly all up to Harvard's admissions committee to make the final decision. Now, what happens to those who actually get there? Besides tons of intellectual stimulation, courses that challenge them into growth, and a spectrum of activities that bring balance into their days, they of course pay tuition fees. And you may be surprised to find that financial aid can significantly reduce the hefty price tag associated with getting an education at an Ivy League school. For 90% of the students, for instance, the cost to attend Harvard is less than that for a state school. 
In conclusion, Harvard can be said to have only continued throughout hundreds of years to be a melting pot of intellectuals, a lighthouse of knowledge, and a dream for many youngsters around the world. So where do you stand from that? Hey, we hope as always that you like this video. Be sure to share with us in the comments your thoughts on Harvard. On the end card, you will find a tour on the Stanford University and how you get accepted to this elite university. So be sure to click on that and we'll see you over there.